Hi, good day. Welcome to Nadine Camp. I'm John, and this is for your system check. Hello, John. It's I'm happy to see you. How are yeah, you? Yeah, happy to see you also. <laughs> so, are you ready? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, how's everything going? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm doing great, and I'm ready for the technical check. Yeah, nice to hear that. So, may I know your name, please? Yes, my name is Mark Anthony Verzosa. So, your name is Mark Anthony Verzosa, am I right? Yes. So, how will I call you? Just call me by my first name, Mark. That's fine. Okay, Mark. Nice knowing you or nice meeting you. <laughs> and may I know your nationality, please? And your current location? Yeah, I'm a proud, I'm a proud Filipino. I'm currently here in Dagami, Leyte. So you're li li living in Leyte and you're a Filipino and you're living in the <laughs> Philippines, am I right? Yes. Okay, thank you so much for that. So may I know what type of internet connection that you are using right now, um, teacher Mark? Yeah, I'm Is using a, a LAN. A wireless? It's wired. Okay, thank you so much for that. So just a short information, teacher Mark, um, if that would be possible, may I know if do you have any teaching or formal teaching experience and how long have you been there and what would be the name of your school, teacher Mark? All right. Yeah, I do have a uh, teaching experience. It's also uh, an ESL company. So I, the, the the first ESL company that I work was uh, with uh, Akadsoc for four years, um, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so I was with Akadsoc for that long. So, are you still connected in Akadsoc right now or not anymore, Teacher Mark? Unfortunately, not anymore because of the new Chinese regulation. So, <laughs> I was actually shocked <laughs> because uh, no one, you know, informed me about it. So, I just found out about it uh, with my other colleagues. So, some of them were terminated and uh, unfortunately, they didn't get their last salary. <laughs> okay. So once again, Teacher Mark, I would like to clarify something that you are actually working in Akadsoc for four years. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for that. And since you are already working as an ESL teacher for four years, Teacher Mark, I just would like to ask you, how do you motivate your students? That is a very good question. It depends. Because in Akatsok, I'm actually teaching three uh, types of students. The first one is a kid, second is a teenager, and fourth is adult. So let's start with uh, when teaching a kid, how do I motivate them? Well, definitely, of course, before I, I start the lesson, uh, you know, uh, in the greeting part, you should be, your voice should be powerful. Okay, you should be able to use hand gestures or TPR, total physical response. So it's uh, not like a bad language to turn on. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay. And in addition, make sure before you uh, proceed with the proper lesson, you present a nursery song, an action song that will catch their attention. So they'll be comfortable talking with you and they are ready when you uh, introduce the proper lesson <laughs> and okay. not only that i also give rewards like a lot of toys um you know <laughs> colorful toys uh fruits <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> no stuff <laughs> so you will be giving rewards or um st staff toys to the kids Stars, so even stars. To them thinking that you are actually teaching um through online or offline. Yeah, it's actually easy. For example, you did a great job. Wow, you did a great job, Kevin. That is correct. And uh, as a reward, here is your mango. Yum nom 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 nom. Here you go. Catch, catch. Um, ah, nom, so nom. you will do it virtually. Am I yeah, right, right. right. It's a, okay. it works actually. Also, some so, pizza. Um, nom. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Teacher Mark. One last question. So since uh, you are working for so long, what are the things or what are the experience that you can share, share to native camp 
from your previous experiences. Okay, so since you didn't ask me uh, any specific situation, so yeah, I, I everything guess... Everything is okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah, I, I guess uh, when, when teaching adults, because it's different when teaching kids, when teaching adults, it's... Um, it's like you have to be uh, you have to talk to them like you are a friend you are a neighbor okay that is to break the the gap the communication gap because some of my some of my adult students are shy to speak but they actually know how to speak in English it's just they're afraid or they are intimidated because especially if you you have a, a good accent like you have an American accent you speak well in English so some of the adult students might be intimidated to talk so what I normally do is when I uh, before I start the lesson I actually uh, greet them like say oh how are you doing today it's nice to meet you nice to see you something like that nice to hear that teacher Mark <laughs> just a follow-up question because you said that you are you need to be a friend you need to be a neighbor and you need to be <laughs> close to the students so how will you be, build your rapport with them uh, actually uh, uh, let's say the lesson is free talk so it's it's actually easy I just ask them first uh, like uh, what specific topic would you like would you like me to discuss with you that is something that you can relate on and it's gonna be easy for us to communicate so that's how I start for example yeah um, I guess food and then wow food I like food too <laughs> then that's the time we uh, start the lesson by asking random questions to the students I actually have a list of uh, those questions I was able to um, search that on Google some of the uh, conversational questions that you can ask the students so in other words <laughs> that you need to make you make them feel comfortable with you yes class. right it's like uh, just okay. being a friend but at the same okay. time again don't forget their mispronounced words so i always take note of that in my notepad and also some grammar lapses you know like the articles you know those stuff the verb okay teacher mark <laughs> thank you with that and sorry to interrupt you and since because I did not find any flaws on your end, I would like to congratulate you Yay! for passing the system check, <laughs> teacher Mark. And always remember that you will be directed to the next part, and that will be the demo lesson. For our demo lesson, teacher Mark, all you need to do is you need to study and you need to familiarize the topic because we will provide you a demo kit for that. So for your demo kit, there are actually sample videos for that. So you can check that one, click that one, and review that one because there are actually a um, guide on how you are going to handle or conduct the class with your students for your demo class. So aside from that, teacher Mark, all you need to do is you need to take your time. You don't need to rush yourself because there will be no <laughs> deadline for upon completing your application all you need to do is you need to familiarize and study the topic properly remember that once you're ready all you need to do is you need to click the start demo lesson button and you will be directed to one of our staffs for that so be on the standby mode and don't forget to be ready okay all right i have one more question though if yes you didn't mind. yeah because uh i just want to ask uh, you know specifically the the kind of students that uh, hopefully if I'm lucky to be uh, hired by native camp so I'll be handling just uh, adults here or there will be some kids too same with your experiences in ACAD oh, okay. teacher Mark. there are actually different personality different um, people that you are de dealing with so all you need to do is you must be ready all the time with your class so that is actually very important as a teacher. We really need have to be ready all the time because we don't know who are we are talking to or who are we having a class with to, okay? Okay, that's noted. Yeah, thank you. Um, do you have any other question? Once again, teacher Mark, you need to check that demo kit button right after this one. You will be receiving that one. Okay. okay. Uh, so one, one question. Yes. Uh, can I take my demo tonight? Okay. Uh, once again, as what I have said, once you're oh. ready, well, all you need to do is to click that start demo lesson button to be directed to one of our demo staffs. Okay. Okay. No. So do you have any questions or clarification, 
Sir Mark? Uh, with regards to my teaching background, do I have to do anything? You yeah, know? if possible, that's okay. But if you want to put something like educational um, backgrounds or... Oh, like this materials. one, you mean? This one, alphabet. Yeah, that's also possible for that. No problem with that, teacher Mark. So okay. anything you want to do as long as it's conducive to learning, well, that would be okay. All right, thank you, thank you. Yeah. you What's your name again, topic? sir? Once again, I'm John. John. If you don't have any, <laughs> yes. If you don't have any question, have a good day and good luck on your demo You class. too. Thank, thank you, you, John. So to seeing you. Have a good day and goodbye. Sai Chen. Wow, guys. So, um, well, fortunately, I passed the technical check. And uh, it's asking me to rate or the, the kind of service that the staff provided. I'm going to give him a very good grade because... Uh, he is very accommodating, very professional. I love talking to that kind of people, you know. It's like he's been working in the BPO for quite some time now, like me. <laughs> so I'm going to give him a uh, five-star rating, ups, uh, definitely. So yeah, that it's, that, that's, it, that's it, guys. So um, I hope this video will help you pass your technical, technical check in uh in a native camp and also this video will give you as well some ideas what are the uh commonly asked questions that the uh, native camp interviewer might ask you so be pre pre be prepared be confident with your answer and of course be energetic and enthusiastic it's like you want the job uh so badly all right <laughs> that is my advice so guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell so you'll be updated with my uh, latest uh, coming uh videos that i'm gonna upload especially my uh demo here in native cam i also have other videos about uh five one talk akad talk and rare job those stuff you can check it out, guys. It will really help you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, adv advance Merry Christmas, by the way. And a shout out to all my 3,000 plus YouTube subscribers. So thank you so much. Thank you so very much um, from the bottom of my heart. So don't you worry, guys. I'll be giving out some, uh, you know, some uh, rewards or freebies. Uh, once I, uh, you know, received a, uh, a big amount of, uh, salary in YouTube, hopefully. Um, if I'll make it, you know, big time in YouTube, who knows, I might give, uh, you know, uh, my, uh, sub uh supporters a, um, a motorcycle or those stuff <laughs> as a thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.